Have you tried the Google Gemini AI yet? It's the new upgraded AI model from Google, released just a few weeks ago. I've tried it, and to be honest, I am very impressed. So in this video, I'll go through the great features from Gemini that you won't even able to get from a ChatGPT free versions, and how you can use it to 10x your day-to-day -day digital marketing. Now, let's dive right in. Hey friends, Grace here. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. I share digital growth tips and strategies to business owners or digital marketers like you. Before we go through each use case, let's talk about the great features about Gemini. First, Gemini is a multi-model AI, which means besides text, you can also input images and audios, and it can generate images as well. It even has a built-in microphone to turn your audio into text and to offer more accessibility. Although it doesn't allow you to upload the PDF files, I will show you the workaround in the next minute. Another strong feature is that it integrates with Google's product using the Gemini extension. Currently, you can integrate with products like the Google Workspace, so your Gmail, Drive, and YouTube, so you can execute tasks more efficiently. Another highlight is the versions of the output. For every prompt output, it gives you three different versions and give you the options to adjust the response length and tone, so it's a really great feature that I like. However, note the free Gemini versions won't able to access to the internet, although sometimes I found it says some URLs have reviewed it, but actually the response is completely off with what is actually seeing on the page. So keep that in mind. The desktop Gemini comes with two versions, Gemini and Gemini Advised. Gemini is the basic free versions, while Gemini Advised is the pay subscription. So it is pretty like the free ChatGPT 3.5 versions and the ChatGPT 4 pay version. To start using Gemini AI, sign up with your Google account, go to gemini.google.com, click chat with Gemini, agree to the terms of service, then click continue. Then you are done. Once you're on the Gemini apps, you will see that you're using the free version, but you can always upgrade to Gemini Advanced that is using the Advanced AI model Gemini Ultra. But for this video, I will just focus on the Gemini free version. And now there are two settings you want to double check before you start using Gemini. First, make sure the Gemini extension are turned on. Go to settings, then extensions. Since I rarely use Google Flights, Maps, or Totals for digital marketing, so I will just turn them off. Now turn on Google Drive so you can execute prompts with your own files on your drive. So I will have both Google Drive and YouTube extension turn on. You can also change the theme to dark theme depending on your own preference, and I'll just keep it to dark theme. Second, click this little clock icon to double check your Gemini app's activity settings. By default, Google store your activity for active months. You can choose to turn it on or off, but even if you turn it off, the conversations that are reviewed by real humans are not deleted. So keep that in mind. Make sure you're not sending any sensitive information to Gemini in your inputs. Now let's go through the top use cases. The first one, generate article titles. To be honest, I found Gemini is more creative than ChatGPT when it comes to creative writing and adding a sense of human touch. So its output read less robotic compared to ChatGPT. So you get lots of really good titles ideas that drive clicks. Now imagine you have draft a blog article on Google Doc and you need to finalize the blog article titles. First, ask Gemini to access the blog article file and summarize the findings. To ask Gemini to access your document, make sure you have turned on the Google Drive extension. Also, always use Find My Document in your prompt. I've tried access the document and sometimes the prompt may not work. For example, in this case, the file is called Shopify SEO. Now Gemini is able to access your file and summarize the key takeaways. They are pretty precise and accurate. And then ask Gemini to generate 10 article title ideas based on these key takeaways with a target keyword in mind. So in this case, it's Shopify SEO. Now you can see the titles are pretty creative and what I like is it always includes three versions in the output. You can always check and see which one you like. If you want, you can further modify the prompt to ask Gemini to keep the target keyword near to the front position of the title. But I tend not to include that in the first attempt to allow Gemini comes up with more creative ideas. The next one, summarize key takeaways from an image. As marketers, you often need to analyze lots of data, chat images, and perhaps do a short insight summary for projects or clients. Now you can ask Gemini to summarize key takeaways from a chat or data graph image and make the process a lot faster. 
Imagine you have a competitor analysis chat image. For example, in this case, I have a chat comparing traffic trends between Walmart and Best Buy. And now upload the image to Gemini and ask Gemini to summarize the key insights from the image. So you can see the output is pretty good highlighting key findings with mentioning some key numbers. You can select the versions that you like and extract those bullet points that you find useful and relevant in your file. Then a really good feature is that you can export the outputs to either to a Google Doc or drive an email, or you can even build a public link that everyone can access. It would be very useful if you want to just quickly share the insights to others. A pro tip here, be really specific. Make sure you give more context to Gemini. For example, what the image is about, what the data is about. Because I found that if I do not include the context, then the output may be very off. Second, use your own judgment. Always verify what it says, particularly when it comes to data analysis like this. The next one, summarize PDF files. Besides an image, you can also ask Gemini to summarize any PDF file. It would be very useful when you're doing market research for your projects and needs to analyze lots of complex PDF reports. Technically, you cannot upload a PDF files to Gemini, but there is a workaround. That is to pre-upload your PDF file to your Google Drive. Now, suppose I have these 57 pages economic PDF report and I have uploaded the file to my drive. Then go back to Gemini and ask it to locate the file and provide the key takeaways. Remember to make sure Google Drive extension is turned on. Now Gemini has summarized the PDF report into bullet points. It's really well structured with key data. If you don't like the bullet point format, you can ask Gemini to turn the key takeaways into a table format. See, it's that simple. Again, the tip here is to always review and verify the output from Gemini. But from what I've tested, it's pretty accurate. And also, if you want to summarize multiple PDF files, like over two PDF files, I found it may not work all the time. So you may need to ask it to summarize one PDF at a time. The next one, generate ad copies. Like any AI tools, generate ad copies is one of the popular use cases. And Gemini is really effective in generating lots of creative ad ideas. Some of the output, I would say, is even better than ChatGPT. Rather than just asking Gemini to give you a list of headlines and copies, a more effective way is to also fit it with your landing page content so you can make sure the output aligns with the landing page and is cohesive. Suppose you have saved your landing page document on Google Doc. Now ask Gemini to find your landing page document. Let's say it's called Campaign LP. Now let's say you are brainstorming ad copies for the keyword landing page optimization. Ask Gemini to draft two sets of ad copies in responsive search ad format based on the key takeaways of the landing page include the target keyword and also the audience that you're targeting and what should be tone. Now you can see Gemini's output is very engaging. Although some may seem a bit robotic still, most of them are really good and action driven. This will save you tons of time to think of some good ad copy headlines. You can just use them and test them in your campaign to see which performs the best. The next one, content calendar ideas. If you're working in social media, oftentimes you need to think a lot of content ideas and build your content calendar. This is where Gemini can help you a lot. Now, suppose your channel is about e-commerce marketing. Ask Gemini to plan a seven days content calendar for all your active social platforms, including the topic ideas, the content type, and the target keyword. You can specify the day range so you can ask Gemini to mark the dates in the output. Include your posting schedule as well where Gemini can follow and ask Gemini to output it in a table format. You can see that the output is pretty decent and some of the ideas are really great and click worthy. And Gemini is following my instruction on the posting schedule as well. The best thing is that you can even export this schedule to Google Sheets and make some further adjustment. If you want, you can also ask Gemini to give a 14 days content ideas all at once. The next one, generate social by size content. If you're a marketer who needs to constantly posting Instagram Reels, TikToks, YouTube Shorts, or any by size content like a carousel post on LinkedIn, then Gemini will be your great assistant. But before we ask Gemini to generate these by size content, we need to make sure this content is what people are actively searching for so you can guarantee the performance. 
So first, go to also ask and generate a list of questions that people also ask on Google about your target topic. If you want to learn more about how to use this content research tool, check out my other video on SEO tools. For example, in this case is web design. Now export this question into an image. Then go to image to text.info. So this is a small tool to convert any image to text. Now upload that exported image from also ask, then click convert. Now you get a full list of question in text format. And so you can copy and paste them to a Google doc or any document. And now you can pick five questions that also resonate with you. Now go back to Gemini, type the prompt to ask it to generate a few paragraphs answers for each question. Paste the five questions that you just copy. Remember to give more context to Gemini about what this question is about to ensure a more accurate output and what you're gonna use them for. For example, we will use them in Instagram Reels and also YouTube Shots. Now you can see the response from Gemini is pretty good. It is clearly structured and they look ready to turn into an Instagram Reels or YouTube Shots. But of course, make sure you review the answers and add your own perspective. And Gemini also provides the functions where you can double check from Google search results. Just click this little Google icon and ask it to verify. Then you will see some response highlighted indicating where Gemini reference the data from. And now you may wonder if you can just directly upload the image from also ask and ask Gemini to give you the answer. I've tried that, but Gemini has some limitation in recognizing all the text from an image. So you may want to first convert the image to text using other tools before you fit it to Gemini. And hopefully very soon Google will improve this capability for Gemini. The next one, building landing page unlocked with messaging. If you're marketers who you need to work on messaging a lot for your landing page and consistently improving it, Gemini is another great tool that you can leverage. The most effective way that I found is to first ask Gemini to prepare the persona information and then use it to generate the landing page online with messaging. So this is the problem that I always use to get idea inspirations for my persona research. Asking Gemini to generate persona ideas with the problems, pain points, jobs to be done, motivation, etc. based on your business nature, like in this example for e-commerce software business. And now you can see basically Gemini gives you a really well-crafted persona research with all the details about your target audience and they all seem to make sense. And now we're gonna follow up and ask Gemini to build an outline for the landing page with headline and key messaging. Include the persona name for Gemini to take reference and also the product or service that the landing page is about. And now you can see Gemini makes a pretty detailed outline suggesting the key sections for the landing page like problems, benefits, social proofs, and also with headlines and the key messaging to include. I would say the headlines are pretty engaging and well written without any revision needed to be honest. But of course, you should always adjust them to fit into your brand tone of voice and make sure it aligns with your product and service features. Alternatively, if you just need a one pager landing page format, you can also specify in prompt. So basically, you can get a decent outline really quick with Gemini and it will save you lots of time in building the foundation for a landing page. The next one, YouTube SEO. Since Gemini integrates with YouTube, it can retrieve YouTube's data where you can also easily access and take further actions with prompts. One of the use cases that I found very useful is asking Gemini to analyze the top video results and give me a list of video titles and keywords where I can also use in my videos. Now make sure to turn on the Gemini extension for YouTube, then ask Gemini to give you the top five video results for your target keyword. So in this example, it's UX design. You can also use the YouTube command at YouTube or just indicate it's for YouTube in your prompt. I've tried to ask Gemini to give me the top 10 results as well, but it can only give you five results. Also, the top results by Gemini are not exactly in the same ranking as the actual results. So they are like 90% correct. So take note to that as well. And now you can ask Gemini to give you the patterns that observed it and keyword used it in these videos, where you can also also use them to brainstorm more ideas. And now from Gemini's output in different versions, they are pretty accurate. And this prompt will be very useful when it is able to retrieve more results and analyze them in bulk. So now ask Gemini to give you video titles ideas. Remember to specify your target keyword, which is UX design, the target audience, and also the character limits. To be honest, I really like the output. I think Gemini nails the customer psychology and they are so attractive that driving clicks. And I think most of them, there's no revision is needed. 
you can just directly use them. But of course, you can still make adjustments to make it sound as natural as possible. The next one, keyword research. I'm not saying Gemini can replace any keyword tool because obviously it cannot access to any keyword data. However, it can definitely give you lots of inspiration on your keyword ideas and help you to build your keyword ideas pool. Now, suppose you're doing keyword research for the C keyword child care service. Ask Gemini to generate at least relevant keyword ideas based on these C keywords and the corresponding content ideas. Also include your target audience who are parents. Ask it to output in a table format. Now you can see Gemini give a list of keywords with content ideas. They look really good. I like them because they are relevant to both the C keyword and also the target audience. Gemini also elaborates the content ideas, guiding you what should be included in the content. It also gives you the estimate keyword searches, and I found that sometimes it may also include the keyword difficulty score and keyword intent information as well. These all can be useful. However, do not use it. Always double check with a proper SEO or keyword tool because they will be much more accurate. Now, if you like the basic outline, you can export it to Google Sheets and further adjust it for usage, or you can ask Gemini to generate a new batch of keyword ideas. The next one, generate converting email subject lines. Because Gemini is so strong in creative writing, you can even use it to generate different email subject lines for your email campaign or for A-B testing campaign. Again, suppose I've drafted the email copy on Google Doc. Now ask Gemini to access the document named email copy. Then ask Gemini to generate 10 high-performing email subject lines ideas. To get more quality output, always give more context to Gemini, like what the campaign is about, the target audience, and character limits. For example, in this case, this is about a Shopify free trial campaign, target audience who are e-commerce business owners. And here is the output. And I really like that not only because Gemini used mix of format in the subject ideas like question, strong action verbs, it also indicates the number of characters for each subject lines. So help me to make the decision. So this is amazing. Now you may wonder if Gemini is a multi-model AI, why don't we ask it to generate images? Actually, I've tried it, but to be honest, for this model version, Gemini 1.5 Pro, I found it is having limitations in generating accurate and compelling images that are ready to use. Not only the people images issue that Google is still fixing, but also its capability in understanding the prompts and turn them into images. So hopefully, Google will keep improving the AI model, and I won't be too concerned about this at the moment. And in the meantime, you can always find other alternatives. And I would say the strength from Gemini in creative writing and also integrating with Google's products definitely outweighs its weakness. Remember, always review the output from Gemini and add your own insights. AI is here to increase your productivity, but not replacing intelligence and experience. If you need all the prompt templates that I mentioned in the video, you can find the download link below. Feel free to use it and make any changes that suits your needs. And if you find this video useful, please also give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye now.